When I write ya All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on to California From valley to valley We represent that killer county So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangsta Chronicles Gangsta Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles This is not your average show You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Steel This is strictly from the streets Hello Yeah, yeah, so we here all the way from the East Coast, Brooklyn. Um, shout out to the West Coast, man. I love it out here. I didn't know there so many homeless people in certain places, though. What the hell's going on? What's that all about, man? They live Crazy. under the bridges and shit. I ain't, Bad I, decisions. I ain't even know that was. So So y'all think it's people that thought they was going to come to Hollywood and make it and end up getting it's turned on the drugs? Like, song. what happened? It's a little song. everything. Little or they just everything. out here like There's that? A, a, lot of, a lot of them on the, on the streets because of the drugs. Uh -huh. There's a lot of them that just couldn't function. That, that didn't have the ability to pay bills, didn't want to pay bills. And when you lose family, you're all you got now. Mm. And the streets is all you have now. Yeah, because so I was tripping. People. I was like, they live at the fucking bus stop. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, <laughs> the <laughs> fucking, <laughs> but like, the bus stop. Like, yeah, what the fuck are you supposed to catch the bus? And they lived there. But like, some of them want to be out there. your ass to the side. They shank your ass and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 only out there that just G on the top of G family. QB from the family, Big Diamond, messed out, got tripped up, tripped with a bro, got messed out. Like, come on back to we got you. No, I don't want to come. I'm right, I'm right, right back. Right. right up under the free yeah, master, the right over there on Hoover. Yeah. Right up under the air perimeter between with, um, Imperial and Turner Hoover. That first overpass on the 105 line to all the opponents. And we, think they, of, and we think they fucked up and they be like, shit, I'm good. Freedom. I'm comfortable yeah. as you know what? I was talking to my first cousin. I was telling my first cousin. I was like, imagine the freedom besides the uh your hygiene but imagine the freedom of being homeless all you gotta worry about is fucking food you ain't gotta pay no bills no you gotta worry about more than that i mean i'm talking about no 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 you're right no we ain't gonna get it well well we ain't gonna get it twisted new york is brick ass cold you gotta worry about you homeless it's fucking 10 10 below outside but yeah 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 oh they get that cold well it's cold as hell out here like look for anybody who thinks for us over here it'd be cold as a motherfucker i'm cold right now yeah it's cold you talking about it's cold that shit it's cold to me one dialogue i wanted to have with y'all um was was uh y'all seen the documentary crack on netflix i see some of that shit be getting me mad because they be putting extras on that shit that they didn't even really beat but what I want, yeah. But what I wanted to know, how did it affect y'all out here? Crap, did did it fuck up the community the way it did in New York? Cause that of shit. It may have, I can speak. From my part of it, for me, Wood, it changed the whole game. Cause at first, I'm watching my Giannis fight. So if I'm like, they making us snap box with them. You gotta have these hands last. <laughs> we in the street snap box with the big homies, and we get the shit snapped out of. Look, like, God damn, this is a man hit me. I'm only 13. You know what I mean? But when that crack came in, I remember like 80, 83, 84 when it got serious. Now the homies said niggas, we lost the homie Boulder, um, Boulder Rock from family and and uh, Beams from family got killed by the 60s. They're like, now nah, we ain't fighting no more. Mm. There ain't no more fighting out here no more. You gotta kill. Yeah. Now, if you niggas ain't ready to do this, get on out to each other. TV making, you gotta do this. You gotta, you gotta beat up to get all that TV shit. No, it's yeah, a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homies get ready for to make you do nothing. Yeah. If you with it, with it. If you not, get the fuck out the way. Right. Crack come in now, and it's crazy to say crack. I mean, we always say rocks. Right. You know, the way they crack shit, we always rocks. Yeah. Like they got crack houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We're yeah, rock, yeah. rock houses, baby. Rock houses. Yeah, rock houses. Rock I was in my auntie's <coughs> spot, sir. Rocks. He said, here. And it wasn't none of that 10. It was 25, 50, and 100 and up. It wasn't none of that like that. It ain't coming for 10. Then it just started dropping. But when you now you're making money, now the homie coming, setting a gauge on there. Here. Oh, we got a gauge. Then they're coming with a Uzi and then a Mac 10. Then when they come, like you say, 86, 80. I was in Y.A. I got out in 88. And the homie's got a, a 75 round clip AK. And I just looked at the bullet. I said, God damn, niggas ain't playing. Ain't bullshit. And when I heard, like you say, when you heard, nigga, I remember, man, it's like, it's a distinct sound. 
Never been in no military. Watch the movies, that's extra. It's a distinct sound that once you heard it, you will never forget it. Never. And I'm on the block, I'm on the block, and here, la la la, I just said, let me get behind a bunch of steel. Because that motherfucker ain't your heart beat like Lord, they they showing you on TV. I can go through a bulletproof vest and a tree, and we, I know we got one too. And that's what the crack thing changed. Yeah. It went from young niggas going to school. I'm staying out all night going to school, and I got like forty five hundred five thousand. I'm counting on mm. this twenty five one. Teacher looking at me. Put your money. Where, where's you got to go to the principal? Bitch, I'm going back to the block. Right, Cause I know I can go to my homie, get four five zone, in the morning that shit gonna be gone. Right. I'm going to the swap meet at ten o'clock to buy me a fresh pair of khakis, some fresh boxers, fresh muscle shirt, some new K Swiss or some new Cortez to go back to my bitch house or smoke a house, wash up and get dressed for the day. You didn't even want to leave the block because your schedule was gonna miss some money. Yeah. You getting money now? You getting guns now? We getting low riders. And that's what it did for the streets. That's where I'm talking. Every yeah, yeah. every area has a different spin, but it's all the same. But the downfall of it is, is that we had. I got me. The downfall of it is, is motherfuckers was selling rocks. And then now we wind up selling rocks to the homies' mamas. That's what I was just yeah, gonna yeah, say. The homies' daddies. Yeah. And when 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 that started happening. Lights getting cut off and this happening, no Christmas, no this. Right. So it had a big yeah, impact major on impact us on because family. now you're seeing what it's doing. Some of the homies' mamas didn't come back. Some of the homies' daddies didn't come back. Uncles, aunties, damn, I'm getting, and, and keep it 100, niggas getting heads from the homies' aunties. Hey, I just and the mama's home from dudes hey. for a dime, hey. you know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, so, hey. Hey. The strawberry was was, was hey, 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 I told Taylor, I say, boy, you just you don't understand. Know. Late night, I we told the hood up. Strawberry <laughs> was nothing to so fuck with, man. Nigga got saved the hood, Lord have mercy. We told the hood up. We told the hood. You know what I'm saying? Simple little piece, man, and it's all in cracking, boy. We can really need conscious. Yeah, regular. But man, please, let me go around the corner and toss this little five right quick. Oh man, every little thing I right quick. I'll send you to your first Mary. <laughs> but but um, the <laughs> reason why I'm saying that because what, what we saw like me coming up we like I told you before we saw shit like colors y'all saw like New Jack City, a lot of shit was fabricated, but I remember um the the <clears> shit <throat> that was the what crack that was so fucked up was, yo it was I remember seeing big strong men, reduced to being yeah. like a hundred pounds yeah. Yeah. the yeah. most beautiful women ever, was. My cousin, my cousin over here, one of my mother's friends, I was like 14 years old, and she told him to ask your cousin if he wants some head. And I went outside to him like, yo, you was my mother's friend. I'm like, I'm her baby. Like, you that strung out? Yeah, it was. It, you know what I'm saying? And, and you saw yeah, shit. And, and, and reason you why I'm bitch, you yeah. saw bad bitches you went to high school with. Man, you see the motherfuckers two years later, oh, and you're like, the reason why I'm saying this is because wow. I think with y'all lifestyle. The money started coming, that turned the violence up even more because oh, yeah, because it. now it's like, hold on, we get money, we could buy more the guns. Money brought guns. Yeah, we could buy. This is it. It went from the gauge to the Mac Ten to the Uzi to that AK forty seven, yeah. and that's what the money brought. So now we really you you're already damn fools for the set anyway. Now you got money and you got guns. You got the low. You got to make this money. Home, we boot up tonight. We finna go bust out the AK. And we finna go test some shit out. Yeah, the <laughs> you know crack, I mean? the crack hey, It was like a time. I mean, you go get your money late night. Okay, home. Let's go get them niggas. Let's the go crack, home. The crack, the crack. You know how we save to go on the Just to gun them up. Just to use it, man. It bought, it bought intensive violence, man. The crack era for us, it bought intense violence. But peep though, the thing about the dope era that was even more fucked up. That's what you did to the ops. The rivals, look what we started doing to each other yeah. in the same hood over the crack. Because See? now it's like, who said he could have his block? Who said he could hustle out here? That's how New York was. Like, yo, it's New York had it to it. Yeah, New York man, had it. Man. Y'all got a team. It's totally different. Because yeah, that's what I want to know. We here, didn't follow that code. You have a lot of niggas. Niggas got killed because of jealousy yeah. and hated that this nigga is making all this yeah. money and got the baddest bitches 
And I mean, the, the big fat homies is the ones that had all the fine chicks. Because <laughs> nah, he, uh, he got the sack, he's making that money and he dresses her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So niggas, instead of going out there and getting your own shit, niggas got it where it was easy. Just knocking it down. New York was, this is the guy who gives everybody the drugs. If you do not sell drugs for him in this building, you not selling drugs oh, that nowhere else. Right. That nigga no. yeah, yeah, still yeah. Me being yeah. in the face, I got lucky homies from Brooklyn. You want me treat? That's where I'm from. My dog, he broke it down a lot to me. How y'all get him? You know, they got the shifts. Pay the lookout. Nice. You got the dude to go. Yep. They don't do hand to hand. You get the money, boop, whoop. Somebody else coming to hand them the work. They have a team concept. We Fuck didn't have this nigga. I'm going by my own it's sack. Every nigga get their own going sack. By my own going sack, to the and block. I'm my own Anywhere sack. in my and neighborhood. It could be a nigga right there. It could be a nigga right there. Right. It could be a nigga right, right. there. It could be a nigga right Any there. Time. I Any got nigga. my clientele, and they gonna pull <laughs> see, up, and they gonna go, no, no, my nigga. I want niggas I'm getting that beat right there. Yeah, I want him right there. We didn't do me. We didn't do no pecking order. See what us though? What us was? What us was? You who did you listen to um you listen to Cuban Link's album where, where Ray Kwan is like, them niggas got garbage down the way. That's how it was. Like the next building, so the deal was, hold on, who the fuck said they could hustle in that building over there? Where all the money going? It's slow. Nah, we gotta get them the fuck up out of here. So the next building, who you go over there and be like, yo, who you hustling for? It's cause you use out here, you usually didn't have a lot of outsiders coming Remember, from we saw my projects though. You couldn't spot. have no outsiders yeah, yeah, yeah. come to the hood. Yeah, yeah. You know that we think in New York, because that's how New York base gangs is, we think that West Coast is somebody that runs this set. In New York, you know niggas run, it's a big home. Right, you got the, it's a you got the pecking order down. Facts. We That's don't we is. don't go by that code wow. here. Yeah. We don't I never knew that. You, you, you from the hood, you never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> other <laughs> other dudes me? might have <laughs> uh, other niggas from the neighborhood might have a different reputation than but you from the hood, you were from the hood. It ain't like he's King no, Willie no, and you the captain and you the fucking servant and you I ounce, you know, it don't matter, it don't matter man. It don't matter. It don't block. matter. But see, it things don't... change with us. Another thing with the Craig thing with us. Once everybody was getting so much money in the mid '80s, it was like boom. Like where you, where you born at? When you born in Detroit? No, I was born in Mississippi. Man, call out there and see how much they pay for it. Oh, they paying tw 15, 18 hundred. But we paying five. Summer vacations. And that's when the pains and all that was so sweet. Mm -hmm. Where my nigga? Today, where you at? How we jumping on the bird? Huh, strapped. Land in Oklahoma City. Man, finished 16 ounces rock for rock in six days. Jumping on the plane, we did the spot got hit. We still had, I think, about 16 ounces left. I'm finna give it away. The homie say, nigga, we ain't giving nothing away. I said, nigga, wrap it up. We taking it back home. He say, Spud, you fly work out of LAX. Not in. Yeah, yeah, I say that's why I know we gonna be cool. Cause how we look, they ain't gonna suspect us flying in with no work. We get off the plane, we fly 16 ounces hard back mm. and on to the next day. Hey, and that's yeah. another thing that Craig did. We Don't try to do that now. No. No. <laughs> but look, what I'm saying is, Boy, in closing real quick, we start taking them all to other states. Clubs come out. They believe in that shit that is like that. <laughs> then the next thing you know, you got minister society coming. Oh my God, they really got boys in them. Oh no, now they think, okay, sell dope, then that's gang bang, because this is how they did it. And I done heard niggas just on my mama, I'm not just saying this because I'm with you. I done heard niggas in Oklahoma say, Nigga, I want to run up and get that nigga, and I ain't got that nigga just run up yeah, close hey, and put it up there. I used to be in Oklahoma like it wasn't shit. Oh, my Oklahoma mouth. Oklahoma was our second home. <laughs> <home. laughs> <Oklahoma. laughs> so many times. If you from LA, right. Right. Oklahoma was your second home. Right. Like a motherfucker, yeah. man. Right. I don't they give a fuck. Shit. That came from Jamel Holloway when he I'm went out there. I'm a diabetic. I need right. to eat him. Him. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't said he did anything wrong. But right. when he went out there uh, playing football, come from Bandy, went out to play for Oklahoma. Oklahoma was cracking at one time. Both was coming out of the low low. But let me let me interject. I'm gonna keep it real for us, my boy Junior from On the Line. I'm from On the Line. I'm JJ Fumby. We on the Digital Soapbox Network. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all talking about that cavy, that yeah yo. I come in the era. I'm 50. I'm an original BG from Eastside Long Beach. I'm not active. But when I was doing my thing. We look for the dope man, rob the dope man, tie mm. the dope man up. I can talk about some of the robberies. Because our <laughs> time st st uh, uh, statute of limitations. Yeah. Pass, right. Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying that the dope man, you know, some of my G homies was D man. 
You know what I mean? But I come from the crew from the foundation where we was robbing the jack, you know, jacking the motherfucker dope, man. I don't care if you spoke English, you didn't speak English. My crew came against you. And all of us were successful. You think where I come from? Just so when we just sell, when I yeah. sold dope, was a, uh, when I did sell the dope, it was, it was because I thought in my mind, I was crazy. I thought if I sell dope, I can't go to jail as quick if I, I did, you know, uh, robbing folks. You know where I'm coming from? So I was trying to do something different, still went to the pen. Behind doing a dope transaction, but the D boy look for him. They they piled up. There's some D men would uh, uh, would knock you down if you try to rob them. But I'm not saying all was winning, but they went to be a D boy out here was tough. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. tough. You had to feed, you had you had to you had to feed these niggas money because these niggas gonna knock your head off. Oh, they don't yeah, come and and today, they kicking your dog. And today you it's different out here in these streets where I'm from. Oh, uh, it's, it's a it's a different thing. I don't feel and I'm not. Make it bad that or old or the young. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to let Julie pop in right quick. I'm going to say this for the record's sake. There was a lot of old busters and young busters that was left out here on these streets. And these motherfuckers ain't got old. And the young homies think these niggas is really with the shit when they wasn't. Real niggas really with the shit don't stay on the streets long. Right. They either dead or they're on the yard. Just keep it real. If you're fully active, gang member, I don't care where you're from, you're not going to stay on the streets. You're not going to have no long stretch on the street unless you're working for the police. Right. You can, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Bobby. Because based <laughs> on this, when I come from, a nigga said, they pointed me out like, it's a light-skinned nigga from his side. Oh, they knew who it was. It was me. Mm -hmm. come, I, I, as soon as I got out the pen and did my shit, they come to get me. SWAT team, special task force unit, they come to get me. Right. And when you were fully active, your name is ringing bells in the streets, and it's ringing down at the police station. Yeah, if, it, right. if, it do, if it do church, if it do Cub Scout, people at work, people at the boys club, or any little function around here, your name is coming up, and they're going to run you to the police. Either they're going to kill you, or they're going to call the police. I just want to let the record be flat. Let Junior speak. Sorry about that. What about the people that, um, you ain't going to talk about the dudes that take their shoes, the rappers that take their shoe strings out when they go to jail? No, he's going to talk about that on my show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank Junior, you. what's good, bro? What's happening with it? What's happening with it? Yeah, the crack era in L.A., man, just to tap on what you was talking about. And what and part of L.A. you from? I'm from though? Compton. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Compton. I'm from West Side Treetop. Okay. So in the 80s, a lot was going on in L.A. You had sports was winning. The Olympics was out here. Niggas was getting money. It was just running wild. And with money came better women, better opportunities. You know, we gave all our, when I was a little hustling, started at the swap meet. We was giving all our money to them. Then when big money came, we started dressing different. They started getting gated. We started looking good, living good. And that's when all the problems came because you look at the homies like, I want to be like him. And it's the difference between influence and inspiration. So when we see the inspiration, you know, Mob James, we're looking at him. I might not know him physically, but his name is ringing yeah, yeah, around yeah. the neighborhood. Like, who was this? You know, he got the, and, and over here, we describe people by where they from and what they drive. Got you. No matter, <laughs> you you can have a sister and come to me, oh, she got this new dude. First thing we gonna say, where you from? Exactly. That's how we identify each other, where they what from? Section? What yeah. section they off from? The he, yeah, off the drill. And then the one thing about That's Long Beach, one thing about Long Beach, Compton and Long Beach is right next door. But people sleep on Long Beach. They think they can go, you know, duck off over there, they get fucked off. <laughs> Long beaches, they think about it's the Queen true. Mary and yeah, the water. The rules yeah, beaches. yeah, it's, it's, you know, yeah. So um, for the people out there, thank y'all for joining the 100th episode of the Gangster Chronicle. This is a milestone, but this ain't it though. Got another 100 to go and, um, and more. And shout out to every guest who's been on this show. Shout out to uh, James, shout out to MC8, shout out to Steel, shout out to Digital Soapbox Network. Yes, sir. Yes, Everybody sir. who's got boy smooth cut who's, Brian behind the camera. Kato. He got a lot of new shit coming up. We Kato. Kato. Let's get that in. Let's get that in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, where you from, Kato? I'm South Central California, man. Hey. So, all right, all right. So break it down for a Brooklyn dude. Yeah. Where's South Central at? Because he said West Side. West, King and Western. You, you name his streets up. All right, so. You gonna get King. So I'm from Waverly and Fulton. What that mean to you? Okay, 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 you know, okay, you know okay, all that okay. kind of shit, all the movies you watch, 
the motherfucker that was our side of town. You so know? what what you working on right now? Let right the now I just know. did a uh, movie, uh, Loving a Younger Man, that come out on mm. G-String Films. I'm I'm doing so my so. stuff in that one. I got a cannabis court with Sling Johnson, an episode. I'm on a little comedy pilot. Okay. And, uh, you know, we got Smoke on our radio with Yuck Mouth and Simone. Shouts out to the team. Yes, sir. You feel me? So I'm just, you know. I'm kind of like the bottle awesome. I'm cleaning the shoes, the rims. I do everything. Oh, yeah. What you need to do is some voiceovers, too. Hell yeah. that can, voice can I hear it one time, though? Go ahead. You know what you, you want to hear. You want to hear on WKTOE Radio. Jazz more continuous music. <laughs> Call her my dicks in here. You want to say what? <laughs> oh, you want to hear the, oh, my mama. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it depends. Oh, now we out. Now we out. So, so, so again, be before we go, um, this is 100 episodes. That means that these men do this shit every week. For 100 weeks, shit ain't easy, Putting trust me. Work. You know what I'm saying? It's a serious work for y'all out there that aspire to be a podcaster. Just know you gotta trust your team, you gotta have a team, and you gotta trust each other, believe in one another, and you know, love what you do before you love the money, the money gonna come, you know what I'm saying? Because the money divides people, but right. love bring you together, you know what I'm saying? So um, with that, yo, we out of here. Gangsta Chronicles 100. So up right there. And, and real quick, before we go, I got a man, shout my boy Cam Capone out from Cam Capone TV in the house. And my folks that flew in from out of town, man, oh, Ghost, yes. Eric, and all of them oh, yeah, came from out of town to flew in, you know what I'm they saying? Sitting way over there. Yeah. They sitting way over there. Make sure you get them, Brian, they and, way over there. And Kelvin, him and his wife, they didn't want to come on the show. They, I guess they just wanted to look at the show. But salute to y'all, man. Exactly. So I'm glad that we had y'all on there. I'm glad Appreciate we were part of y'all journey, man. Exactly. We out here. Peace, Peace is cold. Nigga, doggy Peace. Peace. Doing the thing. We out here. It's cold. Yeah, yeah, because I keep here. talking. I talk for a living. Yeah. Yeah. Finally get a chance to let the real